Good morning and welcome to Live with Joy. I'm gonna give it a few moments for everybody to come on that post and we're gonna go over exactly what we're doing today and I'm gonna remind you of what we are doing for this week. Um, for those of you who were with me yesterday, we focused on the upper body and also what our focus for the week is, which is those exercise builds. So um, we are gonna do exactly the same thing today, but with the lower body. So we're gonna use the same profile that we did yesterday for the upper body and working those exercise builds, but it's gonna be all lower body exercises that we're gonna incorporate into those three part builds. So just like yesterday, we're gonna start with one exercise and we're gonna to add to that two times with two more exercises and then we're gonna make our way down to one exercise, which will be the last one. We'll finish with the last one that we added, okay? So all lower body movement and work today doesn't mean that your upper body won't be assisting by holding that weight or in, in other ways, um, but we're kind of giving the movement of the upper body a break today, which probably is much needed. I don't know about you, but I'm definitely feeling that soreness in my upper body from those exercise builds in the upper body yesterday. So today it's gonna to be all about lower body so we can kind of give that upper body a break. What you're gonna to need today is really just one dumbbell that you can hold the entire time. We're not going with anything super strong because again, we're building lean muscles with these exercise builds. And because we're doing a lot of reps and we're adding to the exercises, we um, need to go lighter with this. So you can have one heavy dumbbell, but we're only going with one, okay, not two, so that we're not loading up with too much of that weight. So I'm gonna probably use about a 10 pound weight the entire time that I'm just gonna hold within my hands as I do that lower body movement. And because we're working these big muscles of the lower body, we're gonna also kind of increase that intensity a little bit with the movement that we're doing, which is going to also kind of bring that heart rate up and get you a little bit of a cardio element in this workout today as well. So not only will it be strength driven, but it will also have a little cardio element there for you today as well to get that intensity and that heart rate up during the exercises that we're doing. If any of the builds are too much for you at any point, you can just pick one of the exercises instead of doing that kind of combo of the two or three that we're gonna be incorporating. So at any time, fall back and just do what feels comfortable to you, okay? Um, we're only in it for a certain amount of time and then we kind of break away from those um, additions and going back to that single movement anyway. But if you need to do it sooner than us getting there, feel free to do it and I'll try to give you some modifications, of course, throughout for some of those harder exercises that might be too much, okay? Um, just do what feels comfortable, comfortable to you. If you need to just march it in place at any point, that is totally fine as well, okay? So you're gonna wanna have that one dumbbell handy. You're gonna wanna have your mat handy because we do have one circuit that we're gonna come to the floor with and that will be the last one, all right? Okay, so we're gonna get started warming it up. Shoulders down to track back, engage that center and march it out. Standing up nice and tall. Let's go eight more here. Eight. Four, three, two. Take those legs out wide. Wide march. Eight more. Let's go eight. Four, three, two. March it back in for eight. Four, three, two. Let's take it wide for eight. Four, three, two. March it back in for four. Let's take it wide for four. March it in for four. Take it wide for four. Hold it wide and squat it. Bend the knees and bend the elbows. Push that bottom back. Keep that chest open and those feet flat down and bring it up. Get ready to slow this up. And two more. Now down to up for two. Take it down for two. And up three more times. Down and up two more times. Down for two and up. One more time. Down. Pick up your speed for eight. From here, we're gonna step it back and reach it over that head. Alternating those step backs in four, in three, in two, and step it back right here. Reach as you step, either tap it back or step and bend. Up to you. 
But it did. That Santa keep that body up nice and tall and reach it as you take it back. Keep it here for one more set of eight. Then back to a wide squat. We're gonna interlock those fingers behind the ears, behind the head, or loosely behind the ears as you squat. And two more. Take wide and interlock here or loosely here. Either way, open the chest, squeeze, and retract the back. In four, in three, in two, bring it up and wide march right here. Four, three, two, let's march it in for eight. Four, three, two, let's take it wide. Four, three, two, march it in for four, three, two, Let's take the rock for four, three, two, march it in for four, take it wide and hold, hands on those thighs, and hinge forward with a flat back, let's hold, and roll it up halfway, stretch that spine, take that flat back down, roll it all the way up, allow that head to come up last, and roll the shoulders back. All right, I'm going to show you those first three exercises that we're going to be adding on. And once again, I'm going to hold it on to one time pound weight. You could do no weight if it would be too much for you, okay? First thing that we're going to do for 30 seconds is we're going to bend and hold here as we tap back with an extension. Then from here, we're going to add on. You're going to tap right, tap left, and then get a squat up and down. And then on our final add-in, we're going to lift to our toes for a tap right. So right from that squat up to the toes. And then we'll make our way back. So just doing the squat into the calf raise and then just calf raise to finish it out, okay? So grab the weight that you're going to be using, or no weight, hold it in your hand, sit down to where you can hold that position here, and start to extend those legs back, alternating right there. Just those calf backs to start that build, right here. And then we're going to add on, we're going to have a right top, left top, and then we come up from that squat when we add on. So you want to do both of those tap backs before you come up from that squat. Right now, it's all about just holding that squat wherever you can, even if it's a simple, slight bend in those knees. Of course, the lower you can go, the harder we're going to make this here. Good. Get ready to add on. Tap back right, tap back left. Come on up. Keep the feet flat right here as you come up and down. You're not coming to the toes yet. We're going to add that on in our last add-on for our three-part exercise build. So right here, tap it back. And again, the lower you go on those squats, the harder you're going to work, more muscles are going to be engaged. And then up. But take it at your own pace. Take it at your own level. Wherever you feel comfortable and confident going, And every time you add on, we also add 15 seconds of time. So now we're gonna run into a minute right here. Get those tap backs, and when you come up, I want you up to the toes, if you can, right into that squat, okay? If you can't, you don't have to come to the toes, just keep the two moves instead of adding in those calf raises. But if you can, right here, tap it back, and come to those toes on the lift. You should already be feeling those legs firing up, those glutes firing up. And we're going to be losing the top backs and just have that squat into those calf raises. Good, make sure you're breathing. Good, get that final one in. And now right here, just squat to calf raise. Squat to calf raise. And then we're gonna finish up with just those calf raises and eliminate that squat for 30 seconds. Right here, you're still sitting into those heels, rising up on those toes. And like I said, you're gonna feel that intensity come up and you're gonna get that cardio element, working those big muscles right here. 
Sit it, rise it, and lift to those toes. Good, get that last one in, and now hold it up. Just those calf raises, so we keep those legs up and extended, and we're just lifting up and onto those toes. Finishing up right here. Almost there. That last one in, and relax. Get some water if you need it. Resetting that clock. Now the next one, we're working one side at a time. So we're gonna have to do this circuit twice. Right leg movement, left leg movement. So we're gonna go for a lunge into a heel. That's your first move, okay? Tap it back and heel if the lunge is too much. Then we're gonna add in a knee. It's that top back or lunge. And your final add in is a knee extension when you're up. Okay, and then we'll back away and get rid of that first move, second move, so you're just doing those knee extensions, okay? So get in place, we're gonna start the movement with that right leg, with either a top back into that heel, or a lunge into that heel to the front. 30 seconds on that clock, starting right now, guys. Lunge, or simply top it back and heel to the front. Bring that heel to the front so you're in position for that knee raise when we add on. Now remember, when we do these exercise builds that I talked about yesterday, we smoothly transition. There's no transition time. You gotta be smart when you make these builds. They gotta move one into the other. So here we go, adding on. Once you get that heel to the front, knee comes up, and then back into your top back or your lunge. That left leg stabilizing you. So that's gonna start to get fired up, holding your balance, holding your weight, holding all the strength on that one left. So we went from 30 seconds to 45 when we added on the knee raise, and then when we add the knee extension, we go from 45 seconds to a minute, adding time as we add that exercise, and then taking away time as we take away exercises. Good. Get ready to add on our three parts. Our lunge, heel to the front knee, extend it when it's up. So just bring that knee up as high as you can manage that knee extension. And then the first thing that we're gonna lose is that lunge. So we just that knee lift to knee extension. And then we'll finish up with just that knee extension. But I'm sure you're feeling that fire and that left leg that's holding your balance already. So take breaks as you need to. But again, these kind of builds are what's gonna keep those muscles super lean, burn fat. Good, all right guys, we're gonna stay right here with that knee into that extension. 45 seconds, rest down here if you need to. And then you're gonna finish up with that knee extension. Almost there. You're gonna have your last 30 seconds coming up right here. Find your position that you can hold and just extend and bend it out. Rest it if you need to. You guys are gonna stay right here, see if you can manage it. I'm gonna come in and say hi. Already sweating up a storm. I don't know what I was thinking with my hair down. You guys got this though, okay? Hang in there. Get that extension right here. I don't know if you feel that sweat already coming off your body. And we're just in circuit number two. Hang in there. You're coming on your last five seconds. I 
side. Now we gotta even it out with that other side. Three, two, stop. Get that weight down to relax, get some water if you need it. And now it's just about doing the other side. Starting with that lunge into that knee. All right, so let's start to reset. Grabbing that weight, all the movement's gonna come now from the left side. The right leg is gonna stabilize you. And you're gonna start with that lunge into that heel or step back into that heel in two and go. Right into that other side, guys. Get that lunge or that tap back. Okay, so just be a step back into that heel to the front. Lunge by bending that knee and get that heel to the front. Doesn't feel so bad in the beginning, but as you start adding those exercises, it gets more difficult and more challenging and more intense. Good, on the next one, add your knee. So after that lunge, you bring the heel to the front, drive that knee up, and then back into your step back in your lunge, right here. We add that exercise, we add 15 seconds to that time. which is your knee extension. Good, so when you get that knee up, extend it out, lower it down with the heel to the front, and into that lunge. And then first thing we're gonna lose is that lunge or step back. If you had complications with balance, you can be holding on to a chair if you need to for these exercises where you work in that single side. So if it's too challenging to hold your balance, you can be holding on to a chair or a counter or next to the wall as you do this and just get rid of that weight. Right here, it's just about that knee and extension now. Knee into that extension. You're gonna feel that standing leg fired up, especially in that glute muscle, guys. That leg has been holding your weight the entire time. So strength and stability in that standing leg. Movement. And muscle movement in that left. Last exercise for 30 seconds is going to be just that knee extension coming up. All right, here we go. Hold it where you can. Just extend it out for 30 seconds while you balance. If you need a break, take a break. Hang in there if you can. Hold on to something if you need to. Fire it up in those legs, 10 more seconds. Get that last one in and relax, get some water. Get that weight down, release, release your upper body from holding on to that weight. I'm gonna get some water too. And I'm sure you can feel body sweating heart rate coming up, intensity coming up. We're working those large muscles and we're working them in a hard and difficult way. With these exercise builds, it makes it way more challenging. And watch me for your next set of exercises. So we're gonna start by alternating curtsy lunges, okay? If the lunges are too much, you just simply tap back, okay? Then we're gonna be adding in a squat. So what I wanna do is one curtsy lunge one wide squat, one curtsy lunge to the other side, one wide squat. And then our last add-in is gonna be, when we're down in that squat, we step it in and out and come back up. So if we cross with the right, we take the wide squat, it's the right that comes in and out, and then up and over 
to the left side, we repeat. Hold it. That's where you come in and out and back up, okay? All you have to worry about for the first 30 seconds is either those cross steps or those curtsy lunges. So get that nice big wide step, cross back or curtsy lunge back in two and one. So 30 seconds right here. And then we'll add on after those 30 seconds, building it one exercise at a time. Regular alternating lunges, if that little curtsy lunge is too much, it's really just a very mild cross back. Now watch me. We're gonna curtsy right, wide squat, come up, curtsy with the left, wide squat. So you wanna alternate it. Wide position, and you curtsy, lunge as you come up from that wide position. So always wide, into that wide squat, come up and curtsy on the other side. So you're alternating. And on the last one, you want to hold down into that squat to step it in and out with that lateral movement in that squatted position, whatever that is for you. Good. Right here, let's start. Right, hold your squat, bring it in. Bring it out, lift it up, and then to the left side. Wide position, hold your squat in, out, and come on up to the right side, curtsy. Wide squat, as you hold it, you come in, you come out, then you come up from that squat to the left. Hold it, in, out, press it up, and to the right. Hold it, in, out, and up. First thing that we're gonna lose are those curtsy lunges. Good, get ready, watch me. Down, come in, come out, come up. You no know longer need to do those curtsy lunges. So it's a wide squat. And then a step in from that squatted position. Next, you're gonna lose the squat and just do the squatted, tap in and out. Good, finish that last one. Hold it down, and you're right here. Holding it low if you can, up higher if you need to, and just taking it in and out back to that wide stance. 30 seconds. And come on up, relax. Get some water if you need it. All right, our final standing circuit. And we're doing right side and left side. So again, we gotta do this circuit twice, switching the legs. Watch me and then I'll show you the modification. First one's gonna be that side lunge as we step out the bend. Now if you can't do the side lunge, we're just gonna simply step it out and in. Okay, then I'll show you this way. It's gonna be a hinge forward. So that side lunge, this is that hinge forward, or that side step. And if you can't, you can keep that foot down if you need, instead of having it up. And then our third move, we are side lunge, our hinge, we hold here, and we curl. If you need to have that toe on the floor, curl from there. Then bring it back in, into your side step of your lunge, okay? So first thing we're gonna start with, just the side lunge. And then we'll build from there. So either side step it out or side lunge it out and come back up. 30 seconds on that clock, starting right now. So 
So as you step out with the right, if you can, you're bending. And you're bringing that weight down towards the inside of that foot that you're stepping out with. And if that's too much, it's just a simple side step. Still keeping you moving, totally fine. And again, if weights are too much, just drop the weights. Now we're gonna add on. So you're gonna have that side step or side lunge. Once you come up, hinge forward, or step back and hinge. So your option, just step and hinge. Or if you can, that single deadlift so that leg is coming up and then back down and into your side lunge. And then our last add-on is a hamstring curl. From that extended position, with that toe down or with that leg up, if you can balance it. All right, we're adding on. So we're going to do that side lunge or side step. Hold your position here. Curl your heel into your bottom. And then right back to it. Side lunge. Hinge forward. Hamstring curl. And back up. And then the first thing we're going to lose is that side step or side lunge. Make sure you balance before you do that curl. So if you need to give yourself a balance check, and then you can be right here. Small move with that toe down. Or bigger move with that toe up. So you gotta balance a little bit more. Use a little bit more strength and control and stability in that standing leg. Good, last one for that lunge, and now we're just gonna stay here. Hinge, hamstring curl, and back up. Hinge, hamstring curl, and back up. And then our final movement, our final timing, we get rid of this hinge, and we do just that hamstring curl. So we'll hold the hinge, and hamstring curl from there. Good, finish your last one. Now you want to stay in this position. Toe on the floor or up, and just hamstring curl for 30 seconds. Make sure you're not rounding through the shoulders. Everything is lifted and engaged. Breathing, feeling strong in that standing leg. Good, get that last one in. By the time you're done, you should be feeling that standing leg shaking through that movement, okay? We are gonna reset that clock and we've got that other side. And this is your last standing. Get some water if you need. I'm gonna take a sip, I'm gonna wipe down. You guys sweating as much as I am? I'm dripping right now, I don't know if you can see it. But this is definitely challenging. All right, guys, first move. Now on the left side is that side step or that side lunge, okay? So wherever you can go, in three, two, and let's do it. Moving through that side step or that side lunge. Keep that chest open. Keep that chin off of that chest. And then we'll add on that hinge forward, single leg deadlift, if you can lift that leg off the floor, if not, just simply hinge and tap that. All right, adding on to that next one. So get that side lunge in. Come on up. Hinge forward into that single leg deadlift. Side lunge. If that's too much, hinge and tap it. So you never have to lift that leg completely up and off of that floor. Okay, up to you. And then your final add-on. It's gonna be that hamstring curl after you hinge right here.
Good, get ready to add on. So once you hinge and you're in position, then bring that heel to your bottom. Come on up and back into that side lunge. So we've got exercise one, two, and three all together. And then the first one we're gonna get rid of is gonna be that side lunge. Awesome work, guys. Hang in there. Side step it. If the lunge is starting to get to be too much, but you're almost done with those side lunges, we're going to take them out in 15 seconds and work through just that hinge and that hamstring curl. Almost forgot that hamstring curl. I don't know if you caught that. Okay, right here, we're going to do just that hinge and that hamstring curl and back up. Now let your mind wander for a second doing these. Got to really think about each movement that you're doing. Starts get to be that each rep is definitely a challenge and you need to push yourself through it. Rest it up here for a little longer if you need to before you go into that next rep if you have to get a little moment. If you're struggling, rest it. These are not easy, especially when you're first starting to learn them. Let's hold that hinge, and now just that hamstring curl, and once again, that standing leg should be starting to shake. Come out of position if you're struggling too much. Don't let that form suffer. Good, more upright if you need to, with that toe coming back to the floor. Down, really balancing the entire time if you can. Oh, awesome work, guys. Put that weight down. You're not going to need it. Let's get that mat set up, okay? I don't need to do some options for the floor because what we're doing is going to be with just body weight. It's definitely going to be challenging. So I am going to give those of you an option who have any issues with your knees that you can't be on your knees, okay? So I'll give you some options. Just gonna get some water first. And then watch me, guys. This is your last circuit, okay? I'm gonna show you the hardest one first, modifications to that, and then your option if you wanna take a complete option. So I'm gonna give you all different things to make your way through this, okay? So we're gonna be on our knees. If this is uncomfortable for you, I do have an option in a moment. I'm gonna show you, okay? We're gonna try to bring the arms out in front of us. If you need, you can cross them here at any point. I'm gonna go here, if I can, the entire time. We're gonna alternate bringing those feet up in front of us. Now, if you've got this down and you need something more challenging, we're gonna go for a surrender lunge and then alternate stepping up and coming back to our knees. Okay, our next move, and that's the first move. It's either all the way up or just being here. Next move that we're gonna add on is that sissy squat from that kneeling position, okay? So you will do one foot out, sissy squat, other foot out, sissy squat. And if you're coming all the way up, right foot stepping you up and down, sissy squat back to the left, and then your final move is a down and up. So we're gonna do that step up, taking it down, into that sissy squat, and into that kneeling squat, okay? And then to the other side, either with that foot out or stepping all the way up. Now, I have a complete other option for you. If all that just seems like too much to handle, watch me, okay? Come to that floor. You can support yourself and your back on the floor. Knees don't have to be down. Your first move is gonna be just bringing one knee in at a time right here, and then you're gonna add on a hip lift. So one knee, one hip lift, one knee, one hip lift, and your final move is extending both legs up. So it would be one knee, hip lift, extend both legs up, other knee, hip lift, extend both legs up, okay? So there's your option. So you're either on your back bringing those knees in, or you're on your knees taking those feet out, or going for those full surrender lunges, 
up and down, alternating which one you step up with, okay? So front your knees in the back, knees in, or feet out, or standing all the way up, in two, and one. Let's go. So if you're on your back, remember your knees are coming in and out one at a time. If you're on the floor doing here, you're just stepping it out, working that position, and if you can, all the way up into what we call surrender lunges, alternating that foot, that steps up. Alright guys, so we're going to add on now. Once you come up, take that right knee in, hip lift, or right foot out, and then lean back. Okay, you could just be here, and then lean back, and right, and lean back, or you're stepping all the way up. And remember, if you're on your back, one knee in, one hip thrust up, other knee in, hip thrust up from that bridge position. If you're not ready to stand up yet, then you're just taking that foot out. So you would just be right, right here. Good, so now we're gonna add on. After that sissy squat, sit it down and up. If you're on the floor, you're extending both legs. So here, if you do modified, sissy squat, kneeling squat, and other side. And if you're going for those full surrender lunges, you're coming up. And the first thing you're going to get rid of are those surrender lunges or those knees on that floor. Okay, so if you're on the ground, right, you got knee in, hip lift, extension. Other knee in, hip lift, extension. Back to the right knee, hip lift, double knee extension. And right here, all three moves. Kneeling squat and other side. All right, guys. So now we're going to lose those stand ups or those knees. So those surrender lunges or knees. So we're doing just that sissy squat into that kneeling squat. We can have the feet placement on the toes or on the floor. And over here, we're just doing our hip lift into our knee, double knee extensions. And then you're going to finish up with just those extensions right here and just the kneeling squats up here. Okay, so you can have those feet down at this point if you want, or you can have them curled up, whatever feels better for you, working just these two moves. Good, that last one in, and now for 30 seconds, just that kneeling squat or just those double knee extensions on your back. Up, but keep those hips underneath your shoulders. Don't hip thrust forward for this. Good. Nice and easy. Take it down on your back, everybody. If anybody else is on the back, hug those knees in. And let's stretch it out, guys. You're all done. So I know that some of those are challenging, some more challenging than others, based on your balance or your stability or your strength. Challenging in different ways. Take that left foot down. Extend one thing out right leg up. Let's just hold it here. Give it a nice pull in and then start to rotate the ankle. And other direction. These are builds that you have to work on. You're probably used to doing one or maybe two moves together. Flex and point either just one move or combining two moves. But then when you start to add more than two moves, it starts to really tax those muscles. Let's pull and pull it in. And challenge them in a different way. But it's a great way to build strength, but also lean out those muscles at the same time. You don't have to use heavy weights for this kind of work. Light weights or no weights, and you're still challenging those muscles. Take that right ankle onto that left leg. Tug it in right here. Good, drop back a little bit. 
teeth, one hand on the inside of that leg, one hand on the back side of that leg, and give it a little pull and push. And release, hug both knees in. Let's take that right arm to the board, stand and lengthen that left leg, just hold it there for a moment. Get it in that position, breathe. And then let's start to rotate that ankle. And take it in the opposite direction. And then center, flex and point. And then just flex and hold and pull it in. Lengthen out. Take that left ankle onto the right leg. Let's start by hugging it in. And now release, just drop back a little. Take the inside hand out, place it on the inside of that leg. The other one stays on the back side of that leg. Give it a little pull and push. One hand pulling in, the other one pushing. And you're gonna get a nice little stretch right there. And release, let's hug both knees in. And start rolling yourself up to standing. Come to your feet, hands on the floor. Allow the body to come up. Roll that back up nice and easy. And once you come up, roll those shoulders back and down. Take those hands on those thighs. Hinge forward with a nice flat back fold here. Roll it up halfway, stretching that spine. Take that flat back down. Roll it all the way up. Allow that head to come across. And then roll those shoulders back from here. We're going to take a nice inhale up. Good, exhale, lower the left, get a nice little stretch to that right side. And lower down, take an inhale up with both arms. Lower down that right as we lift and lengthen with that left. Get that nice stretch to that left side. And lower down, let's take two deep breaths in. Exhale it out and down, one more time in. Exhale it out and down, and you are all done with that lower body. Three part exercise build. Awesome job today, guys. You got your upper body done yesterday, your lower body builds done today. Tomorrow, we're gonna focus on full body exercise builds, and we're gonna add another part to it. So, we'll do four part movement tomorrow with full body, incorporating both the upper and the lower body within each one of those builds. So, if you wanna join me tomorrow, we are virtual at 9.30. I am also on location at the GCC, so anybody who wants to join me live in person outdoors, go to myygcc.org, register for that class. The information is there for you. And if you want to work on building this term with these two classes, maybe not today, but another time down the road, working and improving those exercise builds, make sure you share it or save it so you know where exactly these workouts are, or simply come back to this page, click on videos, and all of those live show videos are there for you, including these for, from this week. Awesome job, guys. Thank you again for joining me, and I am going to see you tomorrow. Again, remember, our 9.30 start time. And Trudy, thank you. I see she said happy anniversary to me. My 19 years of anniversary today, so thank you, Trudy. Good morning, ladies, and goodbye, everybody. Have a wonderful and rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.